Hi, my name is George Castro. This is going to be a quick demo on how you can get Alice IRC running um, in an Amazon EC2 really, really quickly. So Alice IRC is a really great IRC client I've been using. It's basically, um, it's written in Perl. It runs on your web server, and then you connect to it like you're connecting to any website. And you can um, connect to IRC with it, and it has a lot of great uh, features, things like that. So the famous solarized look, uh, things of this sort. So... Um, instead of um, you know me getting a shell and setting up an IRC proxy, I just set up uh, Alice IRC and I'm good to go. So I'm going to show you how you can get started uh, with Alice IRC really easy um, if you want to use it without like setting up your own server or doing any of that kind of stuff, especially if you just want to play with it. So we're going to use Amazon EC2 for this. Uh, your first command is going to be Ensemble Bootstrap. Now this really takes a minute or so, and I've already done that. Um, to save you some time. But typing in an ensemble status will let us know what's going on. We're already running on Amazon EC2 there. My instance is running. And now I'm really ready to deploy um, Alice. So my command here is ensemble. I want to deploy from a repository called examples. And I'm going to use the Alice formula. So um, currently right now we're, we're sticking everything like in, the, in a file system. We're going to make it really easy for you to share um, formulas and whatnot. So this part right here will get easier. Um, but it's good enough for a demo for now. So right now, Ensemble's connecting um, to my instance, and blam, it's basically started deploying Alice. Now, my instance is a bare-bones um, uh, Ubuntu server instance. So Alice is going to... Um, the formula needs to grab a whole bunch of things from CPAN. So what I've basically done is taken all the instructions that the Alice author put on his website and made those into a script. And that script is now running on my instance. So it's going to CPAN, grabbing Alice, and grabbing all the repository, or um, all the dependencies. So that's going to take a minute. So I'll be back in a few minutes when this is finished deploying and, and showed you how um, it's ready to go. Okay, so we're back. My uh, formula went ahead and installed Alice on my uh, EC2 instance. Um, there's really no telling how long it takes because that really depends on the connection to CPAN and whatnot. But since I'm pulling from uh, directly upstream here and this isn't packaged, um, it, it's grabbing everything fresh. So um, I've done an ensemble status and that gives me this URL here. Now we're going to go ahead and check it out, see if it works. Hey! It did. So it's a blank page, but this is how Alice actually is. Remember, it is an IRC client for your web browser. So here I can see my preferences. Um, and I can go ahead and connect to IRC. Okay, well, I will go through and uh, set it up. Hmm, I got some issues there. But generally speaking, it's working. Um, so that's basically it. So I can go now. Now, you're probably wondering, does it make sense to run an IRC um, client in the cloud? You know, I'm not going to fire up an M1 small to run IRC and leave it running, whatever. But remember, too, that Ensemble, though currently right now it runs on EC2, you'll be able to do this on bare metal as well. Um, so if I had a machine around or a spare uh, LXC container, it'll just do that. Um, it doesn't do that yet. It'll be doing that over the next following weeks. So the idea here being is, um, after taking the initial step of writing a, a script to install something you want to play with, after that, really, you're, uh, you're all set to go. So, hope you'd enjoy this and hope you give it a shot. Um, Ensemble.ubuntu.com. You can find more information on cloud.ubuntu.com.